All right, what's up guys? So tonight we're taking a look at the Legacy Needle Nose. So here he is in his sleek little jet mode. Got some nice painted blue right there, painted red on the canopy. There he is from the bottom. And he is just folded up, but I mean, it's not too bad. So got the little Target Master partners that can plug in to these little ports there. They can also plug in to these little ports. That's the first time he that's the first time that I've done this, so but he can plug into those. And then of course you can take his little buddies here and form a BFG. I'm not gonna tell you what that means, but you should know. So we got that right there. So let's take Sunbeam and zigzag here and put him down. And I mean that's all there is to these little guys. The barrel just folds out and he can hold the gun and that's like it's basically an upscale G1 version. I don't have the G1 versions of these guys but like I do have a couple of G1 target masters and that's basically all there is to it. I definitely understand some frustrations of like you know we had some battle masters and stuff and now they're just like these very stagnant figures with just the little flip out barrels. I understand your frustrations, I do, but I mean they're still they're still pretty neat, you know, nothing to write off about, but yeah, I do agree with you that the other battle masters were a bit cooler. So alright, so here he is in his jet mode. Uh this little piece right here comes unattached in the package, and I mean I guess you can take that off and have a little five millimeter port right there if you wanted to put one of the gun guys or other weapons there. So this piece comes separate, you just plug this in right there and there's his little tail fins. So worth noting. All right, he's also got this other feature where you can unhook the feet uh, while we're here. That little tab right there goes into that little slot right there for the transformation. All right, so you can do this and you can put like little blast effects for boosters right there on the five millimeter ports for his uh, his feet. So just going to point that out before we get him into bot mode. And speaking of bot mode, let's get him into it. All right. So the legs are going to come down like so, and then twist around front. And they do have that hollow gap there, but that is of course to, uh, accommodate the arms up here. So a little bit of a gap there, but yeah, all right, so the arms, we're going to want to open the chest all the way, and that's gonna fold out our arms to about here. Now we're gonna untab that. Uh, this little tab on the forearm goes into the little slot right there as such. Okay, so let's get that all out of the way. Now what we're gonna do is unhook this. Those two tabs, where do they go? They go right about there and there. So that comes out and then this whole back assembly will untab like so. Okay, you see the two tabs right there and there, they go into those slots and this just folds down. Alright, then what you're going to want to do, did I bring that down all the way? It seems like it's up a bit. Yeah. Okay, so that, then the head comes up like that, and you just fold out the head like so. These two come down, kind of line up your arms-ish, then all that's going to fold and tab into the chest. And that should give you enough room to tilt the head, which is on a ball joint, it feels like. Okay, so then this Got to spread the wings out of the way. This comes up, and we'll just tab like that. And that should be needle nose all transformed. Not a very difficult transformation. I don't like difficult transformations, so it works for me. And like I said, the only thing is you got a little bit of that gap back there in the back. Maybe there's you know somebody working on some gap fillers that can like plug in right there and kind of open and close. I don't know. Just an idea. I may work on that eventually with 3D printing, but. Like I said, gaps don't really bother me, so whatever. All right, so let's keep it going with articulation. We got universals at the shoulders. We've got over 90 because of the transformation at the elbow. We do have wrist swivel, wrist swivel, 
which is always good with a deluxe. You've got the waist joint. This is a little hindered by the backpack, but he does have a waist joint. All right, you've got the legs. I can go out to that far. A little bit there because it's hindered for the wings. You can kind of, I mean, let's see if you can rock this thing out of the way and get you a little bit more, but it is going to be hindered because of everything folding in down this way. So just something to keep in mind. All right. So there we got the upper thigh swivel. We've got over 90 at the knee because of the hollowness. We've got the, of course, ankle rocker and a toe tilt down. So got your bases covered. Very cool. Let's get the gun guys in here. See how he looks with those. Like so. And like so. So there's needle nose. Let's do some size comparisons. So let's bring out Earthrise Optimus, about there. All right, let's bring out Studio Series Blur since I have him handy. So he's a little bit taller than that. Give me just one second because I know you want to compare him with his Target Master buddy Spinister. So give me just one second, guys. Hang on a minute. Okay, and I'm back. I've got Spinister. Gonna bring him over with these little dudes. Uh, these are actually a third-party Target Master guy, but yeah, they're about the same height. So if you're wondering about that, these guys are roughly the same height there. So I know you wanted to see him with his Target Master buddies. There you go. I don't have the Titans Return Quake. Uh, I passed on that one, but there's two out of three. Here's hoping we get an updated version of the third. All right, guys, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. It helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.